For several years, we have started a research in order to prove the possibilities to bring an interop MRI in our Department of Neurosurgery at Tübingen University Hospital. And uh, we have checked possibilities with um, low field and high field MRIs. And uh, for about many years, we have um, followed these uh, strategies and uh, uh, three years ago, I had the opportunity to visit a unit in St. Louis in which we saw a, a magnet which was moved to the patient. And this was uh, Visus uh, Surgical Theater. I was uh, fascinated from this technology and I thought this is our uh, technology we must bring to Tübingen. So with our special MR compatible table, the head coils, the special skull clamp which is made out of carbon fiber, the fully integrated neuro navigation system, the movable 1.5 Tesla scanner, as well as the high definition media system, you can see that the Visio Surgical Theater is a complete solution for advanced interoperative imaging. Visio Surgical Theater is giving us several advantages. So one of these is uh, the possibility of performing a high resolution uh, image of the pathology and at the same time to perform functional studies of the brain with a high field magnet. A second very important advantage is that the magnet is moving uh, to the patient and not the patient to the magnet. So surgeons are used to operate the pathologies as uh, they like to do and they don't like to change their strategy because of technology. On the other side as you can see here, uh, the magnet is producing a lot of noise and during the surgery we can avoid this noise in uh, that way that the magnet is uh, brought behind these doors, the doors are closed and when I need to perform MRI, I just press the button and the MRI is moved to the patient. This is the MRT principle that the patient from an anesthesiology standpoint, we prefer the concept of having the patient stationary, since this approach enables us to keep all intubation tubes and infusion wires at their place, instead of moving the patient to the MRI. Hence the risk of disconnection is lower. Compared to standard conventional diagnostics, the acquisition time in the intraoperative MRI setting doesn't substantially vary. It takes about 15 to 20 minutes to acquire all the diagnostic T1 and T2 weighted images which may be accompanied by diffusion weighted imaging. The image quality in the visual surgical theater is satisfactory for us as new radiologists. We can rely on these images in order to draw safe conclusions about the lesion in the brain and of course to transmit this information to the neurosurgeon. So I'm extremely satisfied with the technique we have used today. So we have both T1 uh, weighted image with the gadolinium. We could see exactly the tumor location. And uh, we had in addition also the fiber tracking, which uh, showed us the, uh, the optic of, uh, fibers which uh, were endangered in this case. So, this is a case of a child we are extremely uh, interested to resect the tumor completely without causing deficits. Compared to the traditional setting where the neuroradiologists work far away from the neurosurgeons without having their feedback, here in the new interoperative setting we have the coexistence of both working groups in the same room. So it is a give and take every moment here and we are able to plan together the resection, for example, of a tumor or every procedure in order to maximize the profit for the patient. And I think here in Tübingen works it in a very nice way. It's a university hospital's duty to take ownership of driving research concerning innovations and improved patient care. We feel confident this technology will help us to live up to both objectives to the benefit of our patients.